What are the coaches tell you after a game like that? Are they tell you how happy they are to shut out, or they tell you you need to start forcing more sure that they're not just going to be And I know sports, you know, it's never going to So we just got to keep on uh, keep on working to get better each and every week. I think uh, we did a good job last week, and we did a good job this week, and I think we got to continue to build off of that and get better each and every day to start some practice. We got to have uh, better practices. So, you know, moving forward, I'm going to play it's a key competition moving forward, and we got to keep that intensity and keep that high standard. Kyle, Jeremy was talking about earlier, you talked about the game that went in, and you might be in practice. What is that practice model? Uh, it's a lot. There's <laughs> a lot to it. Um, I think uh, everybody on the scene has to adjust to the standard of the coaching standard. I think uh, we got to keep on working to do that. Each and every day, it's high intensity, high level, competitive, and we got to make sure we bring that standard because if we do that every day, the game's going to come easy. The game's going to come really easy. So I believe that they just want us to go hard each and every day within uh, just having the intensity and the high standard. Okay. You know, on the, de on the defense side, you can't let anybody run the ball in this. You can't let anybody throw the ball in this. So we keep that uh, intensity moving forward. I think we'll do all right. We got to do a better job. Kyle, is it fair to say that you guys weren't used to the same same demand of intensity during practice before Coach Kyle? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I think it's de definitely a different, uh, different practice. A different, I wouldn't say that. Not at all. Did you, come, did you come away from Wednesday or any day this week thinking that was a bad practice or was it more? Well, it's always, <laughs> it's always, you know, worse than you think, and you know. So, I think that uh, as players, uh, we know, we know what it, what a good practice looks like. We've had many good practices, so I believe that we understand, we understand that too. We just got to keep on pushing, pushing ourselves uh, to be the best we can be. That's what they want. That's what the coaches want. For us. That's what we should want for ourselves to be the best we can be. It's a level. Good day that we think might not be a good day to them because they know they have such a high standard for us. So I think that we gotta, you know, keep on raising our level of standards because that's gonna that's gonna help us achieve our things. Kyle, another thing Coach Pruitt was talking about this week was he wanted more guys, the leaders, to confront their teammates. What have you seen from from that area? Yeah, um, we definitely need to do a better job of that. Um, sometimes it might be something we don't see. <laughs> and it's just and it's just we get yelled at still, but um, we definitely got to do a better job of keeping everybody accountable. Because um, especially older guys, we got to be on point. We got to be on cue. Younger guys too. We just got to be on the same page when it comes to level of intensity, practice, the details. That's really going to help us moving forward to being successful. Because in this league, um, the winning is winning is you know you can do one mistake and that can cost you a game. So. I think just paying attention to the details and being tough and physical each and every play is going to help us. We have to make sure everybody's on the same page with that. Florida's up next. What do you remember about walking off that field in Florida a year ago? Yeah, it was definitely disappointing. Definitely disappointing game. The Tennessee Florida game is always a great one. And we're just uh, got to come in tomorrow and prepare for that. So what we're was expecting a good game. What was your reaction when you first saw what this schedule was going to look like? Where you have these five games lined up one after the other, Florida, Florida, Alabama. Personally, that's why I came to Tennessee. I came to Tennessee to play the top competition. And if you, I mean, I think everybody else in this program came to Tennessee to play top, top competition. Each and every week we know coming here, it's going to be tough. It's going to be stretch where we're playing the best teams in the country. And that's what's exciting about playing in this league. You get to play the best of the best. And what do you tell the younger guys? How is it that what they're going to be seeing the next five weeks is a lot different than what they've seen these last couple yeah. weeks? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for an uh, older guy telling the younger guy, it all starts in practice. For myself, for them, if you keep that high level of intensity in practice, prepare, film study, uh, and just practice hard each and every day, when it comes to game time, it's gonna be it's gonna be easy for you. So you know, it doesn't matter when you play. The standard uh, of you know expectation we have for ourselves is the same each and every week. So we just gotta keep on grinding each and every week, and I think we'll be alright. A few more guys. In the back, go ahead. What's the feeling for you coming off the field against anybody and seeing a zero under their name? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely great. Each and every, every each and every week as a defense, we don't want anybody to score on us. Our, in our mindset, they don't score, they don't win. So it doesn't matter uh, offense, what our offense does. It doesn't matter what we do as a defense. So we just got to make sure to control what we can control. 
So that's why uh, I think it's pivotal for us to keep on uh, with the zero on the scoreboard. <laughs> Cause I, think, I mean, as defense, you love that. Coaches, they love that. Because they don't score, they don't win. So. How long have you seen out of the, the pass rush? It, it looks like it's getting a little bit better each game. And Still, probably though a lot of lot of plays were maybe one step away, half step away. How frustrating is it to be that close and not get some kind of correct? Uh, it just starts. It starts in practice. Like I said, uh, we got to make sure we're finishing plays in practice. And I think that's going to help us do good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, 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 Thanks,